All right, guys, let's get into this. How we doing, everyone? It is good to be back on a Sunday doing the news. Last weekend, like I said, I was kind of doing some other stuff in London, doing vlogs, but now we're back, we're relaxing, we're chilling out, and we're taking a look at some of the upcoming sneakers, the leaks, the rumors, and everything above. So first, let's recap what just happened in terms of sneaker releases, and then I've got a bunch of insane stories to tell you guys. I've got some crazy stuff coming up later this month and deep into next month. First order of the day is is of course the Jordan 4 Thunders. Did you guys cop or did you pass? Did you, did you miss out? Let me know what happened to you over the past few days when these did drop. January has been relatively dry so far, so this is like one of the better colorways of sneakers that have dropped this month. So yeah, definitely happy with these. I like them. Let me know if you like them, if you managed to get them. That's pretty much everything that released, I believe. If there's anything else, feel free to let me know down in the comments, but let's get into this news because there's so much to get into and so much I'm excited to talk about. All right, let's talk about these dry Drake Nocta joints, the, the Fila lookalikes, this pair of sneakers right here. This is obviously the, the upcoming Drake collaboration. We actually have a release date for it, which is January the 27th. So this is called the Hot Step Air Terra Nocta, um, I guess following in the steps of his clothing brand, Nocta, which I've never really been that much of a fan of. It just seems like Nike stuff with the Nocta branding. This pair of sneakers is something that has got a lot of mixed opinions. A lot of people are saying that they're just kind of like feelers or it's a regular ass pair of sneakers. I think they're still gonna be very popular. At the end of the day, Drake's name is attached to it and these are probably going to fly. Now maybe this white colorway doesn't necessarily do it for you. Well, we've actually got some upcoming looks at the triple black pair. So again, very kind of like early teaser looks because the only place we actually saw all these was on Drake's feet when he attended the Lakers game, uh, but we do know that potentially a triple black colorway is on the way. I'm not too sure how much they can do with this sneaker, like if they can actually make crazier colorways with it, will it go with the silhouette? Um, I feel like a triple white and a triple black is the easiest options to go with this sneaker, but uh, we've seen this sneaker leaked and rumored for so long now, I just want it to finally come out, and it's good to know that it's finally going to be dropping at the end of this month. A pair of Yeezys that we thought were going to drop last year apparently have a release date now and that of course is the blush Yeezy 500. Now I believe we kind of spoke about this uh, before but I don't think we ever had an actual release date. The new updated release date for this restock of the blush 500 is apparently January the 22nd. Now again I, just, I don't know how many like have I really heard that many people speak about this I'm not too sure so it kind of seems like okay well now we have a release date is this actually going to happen or is it just one of those things that kind of pops up and then disappears into the back. I'll probably try and go for them, but it's not the most exciting pair of Yeezys that I'm looking forward to this year. No, there hasn't been a single Yeezy drop this month yet, so I guess this would be the first one, uh, or at least that's how it's looking so far. So last week we took our first looks at the Tom Sachs upcoming sneaker collaboration, the general purpose shoe. However, last week we had some like really, really blurry or, or like early images. Well, now we've got the best looks yet, so again, this is kind of something that maybe could grow on you. To me, it still looks like one of the more plain pairs of shoes. Uh, and this is it right here. So we've got a bunch of pictures to kind of flick through. Again, I believe these are going to be dropping some point in 2022. We do not have uh, an actual release date, an actual release month. So these pictures are gonna have to hold you over until then. Let me know how you think these stand up to the original Tom Sachs collaboration sneakers. I know that those were incredibly hyped. Let me know where these land up in comparison Harrison, do you like these more? Or are they just like, oh, okay, yeah, the it was a one-hit wonder. You're running through these stories. We got a Jordan 1, so the Marina Blue Jordan 1, something I've done a review on them, um, and you guys have seen them plenty of times on this channel. Well, the information that I wanted to give you guys is the fact that they are releasing this month. So, of course, I think for the most part, these were delayed until February the 16th, and I believe that is still the case for you guys out in the US. However, a bunch of different raffles have already popped up here in the UK. So, here in the UK, I'll give you guys a couple different raffles. The first one is this right here, Foot Patrol. They are loaded up on the app if you want to go and enter that. The next one is Size. They're loaded up on Size. If you use the app, the launches one, you can get your name in the hat. And then End Clothing also has a raffle that is up right now. So you can go and feel free to enter all of those. As of right now, they haven't popped up on the UK Nike sneakers. So I assume Nike sneakers is probably delayed, I would imagine, until next month. But it looks like we do have a decent amount of retailers that have loaded them 
them up and you should probably start entering if you want this pair of Jordan 1s. So we spoke about like how the Nike Dunk was popping off last year and how they kind of made so many different colorways of this sneaker. And we're like, okay, what's in store for us here in 2022? What are they gonna do with this silhouette? Are they gonna change it up, put some crazy colors on it? I'm happy to report back that it looks like they're gonna be putting some crazy colors on it. We've got a couple different leaks of some upcoming dunks and this is the first one right here. This is a metallic silver all over white with some yellow different accents on it. Uh, definitely pretty odd in terms of the color blocking on this one. I don't think I've ever seen like that back panel kind of extend up and then change into a completely different color. It looks pretty bizarre, but I believe this is a woman's colorway. Um, I don't think we have a specific release date on these again sometime in 2022. This is actually one that's pretty clean. This is a nice colorway of a dunk that is upcoming. This colorway is called the Koala, I believe. So it's uh, definitely going to be popular. It's got that whole like dark mocha vibe to it with the browns and the white. Again, no specific release date for the Koala Dunk Low. It's just a very nice colorway that honestly, if I, if like we get a proper release of this here in the UK, I'm definitely going to be going for this one. And this is where Crazy steps back into the picture because we got another upcoming dunk. Uh, this is just the navy green and red colorway all over suede, or at least that's what it looks like, even for the white mid and toe box panels. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, a little bit of Christmas vibe to it, maybe. Again, no release date on this 2022. If we get any more information, you will find it over here on the channel. Last, uh, Nike Dunk Leak, and this is also very, very crazy, but I'm actually not too mad at it. So take a look at this. Uh, the materials is what is really interesting to me. So is that like tumbled leather for like the toe box region. I'm not too sure. They've got a lot of different things going on, not just colors, but also materials on here. There's even some pretty cool like embroidery towards the back of the sneaker itself, which looks very interesting. Uh, obviously, this is not a colorway I personally would rock, but I do really appreciate the, the details on here and the materials and changing it up to this amount, I think looks pretty cool. We've got some on foot looks at the upcoming Jordan 6. UNC and I gotta say they're looking pretty hard on feet not gonna lie take a look at this so we've got uh, some really nice pictures with the black pants which I like I don't know whether you're a huge fan of Jordan 6 but if you are I feel like this is a solid colorway the white and the UNC go great together um, I think it's just a really nice combo and it works super well on the sixes definitely kind of gives me like the Jordan 4 UNC vibes or the University Blue whatever we're gonna call that one um, it definitely has like a similar similar tone, that specific blue. Let me know what you guys think of this one. It's always good to get that feedback from you guys, whether you're looking forward to this one or not. And it is apparently March the 5th. Now, again, that could change around. It could, you know, swap over, get delayed. We've seen that plenty of times already this year. Um, I just told you guys about the Blush 500 restock and the release date for that. And that being the first Yeezy of the month, well, we may have some conflicting evidence because of this story right here. The Yeezy 350 V2 blue tin is scheduled for January the 22nd. Wait a minute, didn't we just get a release of this? Even, it was like an Asia exclusive. Yes, but now apparently we're getting it globally. But yeah, if you were like looking forward to these and then you found out it was an Asia exclusive and now apparently we're getting it globally. So EU, uh, US, and it is right around the corner, I believe next week or the week after. January the 22nd. Sticking with Yeezy, we've got some more looks at the upcoming insulated boot with Offset, you know, taking them out in the snow, taking them out to where they belong as some absolute tanks of a boot. Um, it doesn't look like they're holding up too well. Like I imagine that material on top isn't waterproof. They do look a little bit wet when he's wearing them. Either way, this thing does look pretty mean when he's got them on with this full camo out. So this is the colorway that Kanye was wearing a while ago and it's like the all over 3M. It kind of looks black when you're just not with the flash, but obviously with all of these pictures, there is heavy flash being used. So they kind of look silver. But uh, yeah, let me know if you're ready for insulated boots to become a thing over here in 2022. Let me know if you're excited about this colorway or any colorways of the insulated boots. Be interested to hear your thoughts on that. Right, so a while ago we were talking about Jerry Lorenzo wearing this Adidas collaboration Fear of God hoodie to, I believe, was it a basketball game? I can't really remember where he was. But uh, we finally got, which looks like some, you know, production packages 
So if you take a look at this Instagram post from over and under .io, I believe, um, he basically posted these images of like what seems to be the finished packaging that the Adidas Fear of God clothing is going to come in. If they've got finished packaging and like promo stuff, this is right around the corner. So it looks to be the exact same stuff that we saw Jerry Lorenzo wearing, just the, the yellow kind of tan hoodies with the Adidas Fear of God logo. I like it. Um, it's nothing insane, like it just seems to be a very limited collection of like a crew neck and a hoodie which is all we've seen yeah as of right now it looks relatively soon i would expect this between you know the next few months maybe leading up into spring uh that's kind of you know what i'm thinking as they have pretty much everything finalized here there's probably a lot that we haven't seen as well so definitely looking forward to that nike introducing some banging grs that are coming very very soon and they're leaning into that waffle sneaker once again so take a look at this this is going to be just the the waffle I assume I'm not too sure if it actually has a name last year they did the waffle one which I was a huge fan of it was like one of my favorite budget sneakers from Nike to release the entire year and I feel like this is going to be right up there it is such a classic silhouette it just looks so cool like I think they raised the midsoles very familiar to you know the the Sakai ethos that comes with this sneaker but I gotta say as a GR these are probably gonna retail for what like a hundred bucks or even less, it's saying 70 bucks on here. If it's 70 bucks, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm definitely gonna grab one of these, especially this like crispy white pair or with a blue tint. I like this one a lot. So yeah, be on the lookout for these very, very soon because these are official images. I would imagine they pop up on the Nike app at some point um, and would imagine that they're a relatively easy cop. You know, I don't think you should have any issues picking these up. We've got an upcoming foam runner. Again, thanks to overandunder.io on Instagram, we've got some looks at the navy sample pair no information it's just this picture uh, i don't know what's going on here are we gonna see this uh maybe this is gonna be like one of the first for 2022 in terms of the foam runner i think it's a solid you know just keep pumping out the foam runners please because i want to try and get one for retail at least once in my life for god's sake little update on kanye's three-part documentary which is scheduled to be releasing very very soon we actually have a release date so if you don't know i believe it's going to be on netflix um i can't remember but it's called Genius, and they spelt it J E E N hyphen Y U H S. Genius, apparently going to be dropping on February the 16th. So if you were interested in this, you got about a month, uh, and then it should be popping up. I believe it's Netflix. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really remember, and it doesn't actually say here. But again, it's a three-part documentary. It's going to be you know pretty much based off of his entire career probably his childhood, his relationship with his mother. Um, and I think it's gonna be very, very interesting just to get some closer looks. And this is when the Yeezy leaks start rolling in. We've got another colorway of the Yeezy 450. What, the second one that's going to be dropping this year? And they're doing like the mixture or gradient effect on this one as well. So this is thanks to Sneaker News on Instagram. And we've got a look, a rendered image. I believe we've actually got some in-hand images as well, but I just don't have them here. <sighs> I don't know, they're, they're really going, I mean, at least they're changing it up from the all over monochromatic, which is something that I was like, yeah, please change up the 450s. Maybe this isn't what I quite had in mind. As of right now, it is going to be dropping here in 2022, but no set release month. And for the final story of today, I always wanna hit you with a banger right at the end. Um, and this one's pretty crazy. So we just got news, and this is over on Nice Kicks, that Nike will fire unvaccinated COVID-19 employees. So apparently, so in this article, they say this week, Nike notified some employees that it plans to fire them on Saturday, January the 15th, because they haven't met the company's deadline to verify their vaccination against COVID-19 and haven't received an exemption for religious or medical reasons. I didn't even know that you could get an exemption for religious reasons. I know like medical, obviously, but I didn't know that, that's something new. I think we've heard like stories of different companies trying to enforce this, but Nike has to be the biggest so far to, you know, to do this. Um, and it's obviously a very, fragile, a very uh, polarizing topic because there's a lot of different mixed opinions. I don't know, there's the whole argument of like people's right to decide what they want to do. And then there's obviously the whole thing of we're in a pandemic and people should be vaccinated. 
I don't know. I think this is pretty insane either way, um, but I would like to know what you guys think. And then just to add to that, Vans followed very quickly with the same thing. The VF Corp parent company of Vans will terminate unvaccinated employees as well. So they kind of go on to say the same thing, sort of towards the mid to the end of this month, uh, they're going to be firing people. Okay, so VF Corporation is Vans, Supreme, Timberland, and North Face. So they're all doing it. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section about that, but it is pretty much, that's that's all the stories I have. A lot to get through. We've got a lot more Yeezys upcoming that we know about. Again, things are cooking up, things are heating up, things are getting pretty crazy out here in the beginning of 2022. I'm excited, guys. I'm ready to go. Let me know if you guys are excited as well for what's to come. Thank you for joining me here for yet again another Sneaker Sunday of chilling out, taking a look at the news. Again, we do this every Sunday, so if you want to join in, please hit that subscribe button. And you will know whenever we do this or whether I'm late and it ends up being on a Monday. Either way, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much guys for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.